Hi guys, welcome back to a, another episode of Valhalla Hills and there are our Vikings just dropping in from the skies. Uh, that's just a little tip about weapons, that's fine. So before we get started on this map, there is actually something I forgot to tell you about last episode. So if we just save and exit out of this. And one of the really cool things about this is if you go over to the Vikings over here, not only can you edit your Vikings, but you can actually rename them as well. And I just think that is really awesome. So what's this about honor? So all deeds, be it work or a fight, give your Vikings honor. How much honor a Viking has earned can be seen in the Viking overview in the main menu. So uh, basically you're collecting these honor points and when you get to 100,000 your viking will be allowed into Valhalla and we can call them back into the game if we need them and they'll be a little bit stronger and just a little bit more awesome. So yeah let's have a look at our vikings. This is Bjorn and Carl and this is Fora. Now I would rename this one because it's the first female because I want to name one after me just to show it to you and because you know what, why not? I'm, I want to be a part of the game. I really like Lepora, so do we have any other females? We do, Ingra. Okay, so we are going to edit Ingra. Probably best that I'm not one of the first ones, maybe then I'll be a little bit more likely to survive. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. So we're going to call her Picture Perfect. And we can change um, her helmet. Unfortunately, we can't make a lot of changes. Like, we can't change how she looks. We can't change her outfit or anything. But we can give her this really awesome winged helm, which I think looks so cool. So that is exactly what we're going to do. And that is going to be my in-game character. I love that she's wearing blue, because blue is actually my favorite color. And I love her boots as well, they're kind of similar to my Uggs, so yeah, I'm actually kind of happy with that, she looks awesome. So yeah, let's get back in and get started on this map and continue our path to Valhalla. <laughs> okay, so we've, I think, do we have a slightly fewer resources this time? Oh, look how many logs I've got, for some reason, I don't know why, but if you go into your resources, it says that we've got nothing, and you can see we've got all this stuff on the ground. Really strange, I don't know. So it's just a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 15, maybe 16 logs. I just want to make sure that I'm not uh, wasting logs and running out of resources. So let's get a woodcutter first, even though we're actually okay for logs. Let's see, there's some trees over here. This would be better, really, for a hunter, for the rabbits. Um, we just just skip those there. I want it on green, so it's not using too much. That should be fine. So we get a woodcutter going, and then the next thing we need to do is get a toolmaker going, and just there will be fine. And we've unlocked paths now, so this is actually kind of cool. So paths, lanes and roads that you increase the range of buildings and it influence your Vikings routes, thus boosting general productivity. In many cases, they would never find their destination or raw materials without paths to follow. They also make your Vikings walk faster, which is all good things guys, all good things. So what we can do is we see we've got these little green dots, if we click on one of them and then we click on the other one it will make a path between them and I find that what happens is uh, well obviously they walk faster as it mentions but the other thing is that paths that are like well trodden and well worn become larger and that kind of seems to be which is actually kind of interesting which gives them more space to like cross over each other so when they're being used by different people right let's get an axe going for the Whipmaker. I don't know if we really need to do this, but I feel like I want to have a like circle around this sort of like starting area. I don't know. I don't think that's really necessary, but I feel it might help them pick up the resources a little bit better. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some storage going. 
So storage has the advantage that an industrious carrier collects the goods in the vicinity and stores them in a central location. This way, other Vikings have quicker access to goods when they need them. So I don't know how useful it is early in game, but I just find that when things are being stored in one of these, they seem to be able to get hold of resources a little bit quicker. And when you start off and resources are kind of like strewn about, it just seems a little bit inefficient. So we'll pop on in and we'll see. I don't know how much of a difference it will make, but we'll just, we'll just wait and see. There's actually, look, there is an ice guy up here, an ice guard. So we will need to take him out before we make our way to the portal. But we're not quite there yet, so... So it's not, don't need to worry too much. Let's get some food going. Let's get a fishing lodge down near the water. Uh, that will do fine, because that will be green. And we really need to get uh, a tent going. So these guys have got somewhere to sleep. Now I can get one here, and that will cover the buildings that we've got so far. Am I going to need a quarry? I might, so if I put one... We'll put it here, and then I've got room to put some down here and some there. Uh, what else can we do? We could get our military camp going. We should probably build our armory first. Let's see. Our tool maker. Oh, that was me, wasn't it? I'm a builder at the moment. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Look at me, I'm building things, guys. I'm being productive for once. <laughs> Let's, oh. Oops. Sometimes, um, if you catch the mouse wheel, it kind of, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's just, we'll pretend that didn't happen, it's fine. I totally know what I'm doing. I am absolutely in control. Right, fishing lodge is being built. Um, I will just pop the carrier here to help, uh, Lara will help Tristan and that will just hopefully speed things up. We better get a fishing rod and we'll get a hammer because I think we're going to make a quarry and then we'll get working on some axes for our army. I don't know if we actually need stone because we've got we have some, but we'll get one going anyway, just, it can't hurt. The quarry men cut quarry stones in the hills that are required to construct many buildings and tools. To hew the quarry stones into reasonably squared stone bricks requires a stonemason. So you need, well, we've got some stone here, we could pop him here. Unfortunately, he's not gonna be covered by the tent that we put in, but obviously we need him, we need him by the stone, that is the most useful. I don't know if we're going to need to make stone bricks. I suppose it depends on... Hmm. What would we need to build that might need stone? We actually might not need that, guys. Right, we can't build the armory yet, so we can't have upgraded weapons, but we can have our army camp, so we'll plop that in. And... Right, there's a fishing lodge being done. Right, Leaf is our fisherman. Only four are staying in the tent. So can we maybe need another one? I don't know, I feel like we can be done with this mission relatively quickly and that I'm trying to overcomplicate it just by like building up a, a village and getting everything done when we perhaps don't really need to at this stage. So I don't know. I feel like actually we could probably just make a couple of axes and build our army and we'd be we'd be good to go. But I, I kinda get into it guys and I wanna I wanna have my village and have everything running and building all the things we need. Oh I'm going to be a soldier. I don't know if I should be excited about that or worried that I'm going to die. <laughs> um I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll be absolutely fine. Oh, I've got my armor on. I look badass. Like, seriously, you, you would not want to mess with me. Not want to mess with me. Right, how are we doing? You are making axes. Are you making the... I think you're making the hammer, and then you're making axes. 
uh, did I not put the quarry down? Because there isn't... Okay, well let's pause that then. I thought I did. Oh, it was destroyed! What? That damn ice guard came down and destroyed the quarries. Did you guys see that? Because like, I completely missed that. Um, I suppose that's, that's just proves that you need to pay attention to these notifications. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that happen at all. Maybe then. Maybe we get our army going and we go get, you know, we teach this guy a lesson and we take him out because, like, that's not okay. You haven't got your axe yet. You have built one. So, do I need to pick you up and put you nearer to the armory to get you to do it? Or are you going to... Maybe. Will you go and do it by yourself or... Why don't we just pick it up and plop you here? I mean, I know it was in range, but sometimes I feel like it's maybe a little bit glitchy and if you pick it up and put it down again, they're more likely to do it. Let's see. Is she going to pick up her axe? No, I'm not. What the hell am I doing? I'm just going for a nap by the fire. I'm not sure I want to have my face that close to the fire, because like, that, <laughs> that is potentially quite dangerous, don't you think? Hey, okay, fine. <laughs> Hopefully, she will wake up and she'll go next door to the armory and she'll pick up her axe. Unless it's in storage. Oh, it's in the storage. That's fine, because that's in range as well and there's a path down. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's get a, another axe warrior. So Carl. Carl is going to be joining me. And both the axes have been made... Only ones in storage, though. Mm. But this says you've only... Oh, no, you have made three. So, Pitcher's going to get some berries. And Carl... Carl is going to get an axe, I think. Yes, Carl's picked up an axe. Hopefully, I'm going to go do that now. Let's speed that up here. Yeah. Yeah, I've gone to get my axe as well. Okay, so I think I think the two of us should be absolutely fine. So let's go move ourselves within range of this guy. And he needs to be punished, right? He just took down one of our buildings, just came and started destroying things. We're going to take this guy out. I mean, we were going to anyway, but I'm just saying it has to happen. All right, come on. You're going down, Mr. Mr. Random Ice Guard guy who took down our quarry. <sighs> I feel like this is maybe a theme, guys. The guys stand behind the girls and just sort of using them as shields. I'm not sure, Carl. I want you using me as a shield. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. It doesn't feel particularly safe. We're supposed to be an army. You can't be hiding behind me. you got to be standing next to me and fighting with me. Don't you think? Like, got to have a little bit of loyalty and respect. <laughs> right, let's open this portal. And what have we got? We've got one, one ice guard. It should be absolutely fine. Okay, now it's my turn to be cowardly and stand behind. That's fine. If we're going to take it in turns, then actually I don't have a problem with that. That's okay. It's Carl's turn to take a little bit of a beating. That's fine. That's fine. Come on, guys. You've got this. You've got this. I have faith in you. You can do it. Yeah, we probably could have done it a little bit quicker if we had a couple of extra guys, but it's fine. No one died. I'm a little bit injured, but... It's all good, it's all good. And that's us done. We can move on to the next level. So yeah, I was definitely trying to overcomplicate it and starting up all these production change and things that we didn't actually need. But uh, it's okay, it's good practice because you know eventually we are going to need these things. So if I'm thinking about them now, hopefully that will avoid any sort of future problems. But you never know guys, you never know. Victory! So this time we've unlocked the hunter. 
It's now possible to go fishing in inland lakes. That's interesting because there are some maps that um, are kind of desert based and they're not around any water. So if they maybe have like a tiny sort of lake or something, that would be useful. Campfires, we can put campfires in. I was looking for them earlier, so that would be cool. And just a few other buildings and bits and pieces. So we've got the larger sort of army camp and yeah new maps with new possibilities thank you for watching and i'll see you guys again next time bye